Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI Newsbite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. A forced confession on day three of the Mauritius murder trial. One of the men charged with murdering Michaela McAreevy has alleged that police tried to suffocate him with a towel and held his head in a bucket of water during interrogation. 30-year-old Avanash Tribuun confessed to police about his involvement in strangling Michaela, but now insists he was forced to sign the statement. 27-year-old Michaela was on her honeymoon when her body was found strangled in her hotel room. A sub up in smoke. Four people have been injured in a fire on a nuclear-powered submarine at a main shipyard. Fire crews battled to put out the fire on the USS Miami, located at a shipyard in the small town of Kittery near Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Officials say the fire started in the forward compartment of the sub, but the sub's reactor wasn't operating at the time and was unaffected friend or foe. A Pakistani doctor who helped the US track down Osama bin Laden has been sentenced to 33 years in prison for conspiring against the state. Shaka Lafridi ran a vaccination program for the CIA to collect DNA and verify bin Laden's presence at the compound in the town of Abbottabad, where US commandos killed the Al-Qaeda chief in a raid last May. Senior US officials have called for Alfredi to be released, saying his work served Pakistani and American interests. Facebook fail after its below par performance since shares in the company started trading. Things have taken another turn for the worst for the world's biggest social network. Facebook, its founder Mark Zuckerberg and the banks leading its launch in the stock market are being sued by unhappy investors. Yesterday, shares in Facebook closed at $32 a share, $6 below the initial price of $38. Commuter chaos striking subway workers have brought Brazil's biggest city to a virtual halt for five hours. 8,000 of Sao Paulo's nearly 9,000 subway workers walked off their jobs to demand a 20% pay increase, leaving the 4 million people who use the subway daily stranded. But after negotiations, they returned to their jobs, allowing frustrated commuters to return home. And seriously not funny, a prank at a laundry shop in the US almost ended in tragedy when an infant got stuck inside a washing machine. CCTV footage from the shop shows a man putting the toddler inside the machine, apparently as part of a game. He then shut the door which locked and started an automatic wash cycle with the one-year-old boy trapped inside. A quick-thinking employee unplugged the machine and the child, who did not appear hurt, was pulled to safety. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tv3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, this guy has a twisted idea of having fun at the playground. <laughs> at number four, standing on your own two feet when it comes to fitness can be hard. Number three, seducing your new bride, fail. At number two, it's not just humans that pause and pray during the Angelus. Thanks for that one, Alan. What's that? And number one today, learning to walk in the elements can be a slippery slope. Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, all of today's tech news, and Paul will be here with all of the sports. We'll see you back here at six, right here on 3E.